often when I see people changing lenses, I would love to approach them and give them a helping hand because I can see how dust gathers in their camera. But how do you best change your lenses? My name is Wolf Amri, wolf.amri on Instagram, and in this video I will share a few tips with you so that you no longer get dust into your camera when changing lenses. You sure have experienced this. You're out and about, have your wide-angle lens on the camera and see a great subject in the distance. Time to change lenses. Most important when changing lenses is your camera. You don't want any dust in the housing of your camera. And that is valid for DSLRs, but even more so for mirrorless cameras, because they don't have a mirror that protects the sensor. As soon as you remove the lens, the sensor on a mirrorless camera is exposed to anything and everything, including, but not exclusively, dust. That seems to enjoy nothing more than resting on your camera sensor, ruining your shots. By the way, sensor dust looks like this. It gets more obvious when using higher F numbers because the depth of focus will not only sharpen the background, but also the dust. Let me know in the comment if you would like me to make a sensor cleaning tutorial in comparison. Okay, back to changing lenses. So you want to avoid dust getting into your camera. That's why the time the camera is open should be reduced to the absolute minimum. The shorter the body is open, the less likely it is to get dusty. First, find a place with little wind and environment with as little dust as possible. But if you're outdoors like here and have no other choice, turn the camera opening away from the wind. And always tend to point the opening of the camera at least slightly downwards when changing lenses. Because on our planet we have something called gravity. So most of the things fall down rather than up. Same with dust. So pointing your camera downwards when changing lenses will make the tiny dust particles fall on the back of your camera rather than on the sensor. Except when the wind is really strong, then just point it away from the wind. Okay, now that we discussed that, let's start with the process of changing the lenses. Make sure both lenses have their front lens cap on so that you don't touch the glass with your fingers. First, I like to loosen the lens just very, very slightly by pressing the release knob and turning the glass just as much that it doesn't lock again. But make sure that works for you because lenses have different friction and the least thing you want is the lens falling down. I do that because once I loosen the lens lock, I can rotate the lens without needing a second hand. I will not let loose of the lens and hold it with my left hand. Now I grab the replacement lens with the right hand. Next I take the front of the lens on the camera into the three lower fingers of my left hand and with the new lens in the right hand I grab its lens cap with the thumb and the index finger. Make sure the mounting index mark of the replacement lens is roughly where you need it, which is usually around 11 o'clock. If it doesn't, it will take longer to finally find the index mark and the risk of sensor dust will increase. Then I loosen the lens cap on the replacement lens and next the lens from the camera mount by rotating it. Rotation may be clockwise or counterclockwise depending on your camera system. Then simultaneously pull one lens off the camera and the other off the lens cap and as quickly as possible but without haste, attach the new lens while holding the old lens and the cap down so that no dust can fall into either of them. Remember gravity. Once the new lens is attached and securely locked to the camera, you can let go and continue with attaching the rear lens cap to the lens you just replaced. What if you have a camera on a tripod? Same procedure. Just don't forget to point the camera down first. More photography tips on our channel, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.